YTPC Padre Piper coming to you via the virtual airways of YouTube to say hello YouTube Pipe community. I hope you're finding all the blessings in your life. I am blessed. I'm blessed because the postman ringeth and leaveth the Padre a package. And boy, this is this is quite quite the package. Um, this is just uh, beyond. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a semi Yabo box opening. I say semi because um, I've actually, I hope that's not rubbing against the microphone. I've actually already opened it and um, I'm just absolutely uh, amazed. And I'm, I'm pulling up on something on tobacco reviews because there's one of these uh, that I want to get, I want to be able to talk to you about. This came in the mail all the way from Rhode Island, from YTPC member Mark in Rhode Island, who has recently told me that he would like to start doing videos. I support that 100%. Uh, I know not everybody in the community is a video creator, uh, but you know, I think if you're feeling like you want to try your hand at it, you should go ahead and give it a shot. So I encourage all to do that. And uh, Mark, I hope you can do that as well. Mark sent a bro note with a that's really cool a pipe a silhouette of a man it kind of reminds me i'm assuming that's supposed to be sherlock holmes himself and uh, this was in the box and um really a kind note i'll spare you most of the details he offers some sympathies on the passing of my pup annie and i do appreciate that thank you my friend and um, he also wanted to say that he sends a very small token of his appreciation for all the wonderful videos over the past few years. And I'll tell you, there's nothing small about his token of appreciation because this is way too kind. I'm going to share it with you, show you some of the stuff he sent me. I'll show you all the stuff he sent me, including the bubble wrap. This is just uh, absolutely, this is... The YTPC, the, the YouTube Pipe community, is such a kind and generous uh, community. And um, let me show you some of this stuff. Sent some Peter Stockaby's Luxury Twist Flake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And also, this one I have never had before. Smells glorious, and I cannot wait to try it. This is Cornell and Deal apricot and cream apricots and cream i cannot wait to give that aromatic a shot some of this stuff look at this navy blend this is plum cake by mcbaron a tin goodness gracious some samuel gallif squadron leader i am a big fan of sammy g love that stuff never had this one i can't wait to try it Sherlock Holmes by Peterson. Check this out. I have been wanting to try some of the Robert McConnell blends. And Mark sent me some Scottish cake to try. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Now, this is all, this is just incredible. I've also got in here four tens of Ain't There No More Backy because he was kind enough to send me some mcclellan stuff and i guess he knows how much i love palamine absolute favorite summer blend thank you i mean this right here awesome stuff some this is incredible frog morton cellar there are some folks this is an unopened tin of this there are some folks i know who would uh they'd break into the church and rob me of that if they could <laughs> some mcclellan best of show a wonderful aromatic now, down to the final two tins, one of which I have never had, and I can't, uh, both of which I can't wait to try. This one, this is a McClellan. Uh, it's called Original Old Church. And uh, it says an aromatic pipe tobacco of incredible delicacy. This matured Virginia is spiced with Carolina and jet black cabinish and then spun into ribbon for ease of smoking. We are pleased to make available once again, this original Old Church Pipe Tobacco Recipe, McClellan. I can't wait to try. I've never had this one. And then the, here's the one I was trying to pull up on the internet, and I've got it. 
from TobaccoReviews.com just because I'm not sophisticated enough to have even heard of this. No, I haven't. I really have not heard of this before. This is, it says on the tin, made in Germany. Germany, easy for me to say. It's called uh, Allen by Vowen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, apparently it translates, according to TobaccoReviews.com, The Shire Hobbit. Now that sounds like somebody we might know out in the community as well. But this is clearly a European uh, tobacco. Backside says made in Germany. Uh, tobacco Reviews says this about it. Virginia tobacco with various hues and cuts delicately rounded with black cavendish and a hint of burley. Fruity aromas include juicy oranges and sweet peaches. This sounds like a wonderful summer blend. A very smooth, excellent tobacco blend with perfect combustion in a 50 gram tin with the Lord of the Rings Hobbit Shire label and brand. And then it says notes inspired by the Lord of the Rings epic and the Hobbit series by Tolkien. Uh, the Vuen Vuen Again, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, v a u e n. Uh, company was commissioned to make the pipes for the Lord of the Rings series, and as I understand, the Hobbit series as well. These pipes and tobacco are limited series, so this is a limited uh, tobacco series. I can't wait to give it a try. Mark in Rhode Island, you sir are way too kind to have sent this over to Padre. I really appreciate it more than you can imagine. I really appreciate the note and the, the note of condolences uh, with the passing of Annie that was also uh, very sweet and uh, deeply, deeply touching and appreciated. You know, I'm looking over here. I'm just going to throw this up here. This is not Annie, but I'm, I'm looking at it because my brother gave it to me. He found this. This was uh, one of my old German shepherds and me and uh, one of his old labs. The lab is, um, her name was Abita, and uh, the German Shepherd in that picture there is my old buddy Kramer, and um, I don't know what year that is. I'm gonna guess uh, circa late 90s, and that's, that's me, that's in my uh, parents' backyard. We were visiting with the uh, the grand dogs, I guess, that day. It's an old Polaroid. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's just sitting on my desk right now, and I thought I'd toss it out there. One more thing I wanted to talk to you about uh, today is um, if you've been following my um, <laughs> my desire to acquire. Uh, I'm a poet, and I know it. My desire to acquire a uh, new motor scooter, a Vespa. Well, I'm a step closer. My Vespa has been ordered. I'm also, folks, I'm starting a new channel. I don't know what's going to happen with it. If you want to be a subscriber to it, I'll put the information down into the seller. Uh, at the moment, the channel is called Padre Codger. Now, it may change. It may, I don't know what it may change to, but uh, I may change that. I may not. But what I'm looking to do on that channel is some uh, moto vlogging. That's where you ride around on your, your uh, scoot and you've got a, an action cam hooked up to your helmet or to your bike or to your chest or to your shoulder or somewhere and uh, you talk. And I'm pretty good at talking. So uh, I'd like to be able to show folks uh, what my commute looks like on the way in. I'd like to be able to show folks parts of the city down here in the Gulf South, in New Orleans, and in the suburbs. And uh, I think scooting around, making some, some video uh, blogs of that, some vlogging, some moto vlogging, could be a lot of fun. If you have an interest in following me on that, uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and subscribe. There's only one little promo video up there. It's about a 30 second clip. Uh, just says coming soon, or actually I think it says scooting soon. Uh, but um, again, that, that uh, link will be down in the cellar. If you want to follow me, I invite you to do so there. Uh, I don't plan on uh, cross-posting and putting those videos up. I might do the first one right here on the Padre Piper channel just to let folks know about it. Uh, but I'll probably keep that um, separate and apart. And I might use the Padre Codger channel to do some other things that are not necessarily specifically 
pipe related, but are a little bit more codger related. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. It could be, uh, you know, the things I like talking about. And then some of these are pipe related, coffee and even spirits, uh, but anything dealing with uh, codgery kinds of things. But for the moment, I'm really looking to make that into my, uh, my scoot channel. So I'll be scooting around the, the Big Easy, the Crescent City, and uh, hoping to have some videos posted of that. So just wanted to let you know about that, folks. Check me out down there if you want to on uh, Padre Codger, the new channel. And uh, until we get together again here on the old channel, but Padre Piper, this is... The one, the only Padre Piper, a.k.a. the Codger, Padre Codger. <laughs> and uh, signing off for the moment and hoping that we get together again real soon. And wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings.